For people living in Bogota, it's definitely a third world country, just a ton of poverty. When people lose their job or medical bills are beyond what they can handle, rather than like a bankruptcy, they gotta move out of town where uh, it's pretty much just tin shacks and whatever running water comes across the ground, that's what you use and really opens your eyes about what these people have to go through. Bethany supports Children's Vision. It's run by Janine and Richard. They started a ministry about 30 years ago, maybe. And she had a heart for children that were homeless. So what she does is she'll go out and look for children. And those kids come in from abuse. They, sometimes the parents will burn them with a cigarette. So the kids were coming in with those marks. One of the church leaders around the corner saw that and turned her in and said she's abusing the kids. Knock on the door and the police come in and basically took all the kids away. So she had her court appearance, prayed about it before that, brought the kids in before the judge to show them the marks, no marks. They were all gone. The judge says, I don't see any marks. You're free to go. So they left, got home and all the marks were there. He had a, he had a plan for Janine all along. And then that evolved to providing a school for them and also being able to just raise them up in a godly home, so to speak. I've always had an interest on going on mission trips. And then I saw at church, they had it on that there was a mission trip going to Bogota to work with Children's Vision. It just caught my attention. I've been involved in missions at Bethany going on 20 years been to Bogota the last, with the last trip six times. After the first trip, you're hooked. You leave a part of your heart down there. I help with the missions board where I'm the active chair. Yeah, I, to be honest, I was just kind of like, oh, I'll say yes to this because Dan really wants me to go, but wasn't really super excited about going. The guys built a roof because it was leaking. I going in, I knew I was gonna be on a roof a lot. Anyone that knows me knows I'm not like a expert craftsman. It was supposed to rain the entire week that we were there. Well, we get down there and start working Monday. Didn't rain, Tuesday didn't rain, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, didn't rain. The last day the guys were working on the roof, you could see these dark, ominous clouds. It's like, okay, it's gonna pour. And we were all just had barely gotten all of our stuff in and we look out and it's just downpouring on this new roof that we did. And it was just such an awesome reminder of who's in control and just so affirming that we were meant to be there and we were meant to do that roof. God really just showed me that I don't have to say yes to things I feel good at, but that I can be okay with little mystery and just being obedient and being dependent on his spirit. One day, three of us girls got to go to the school so I actually got to work in a third grade classroom with and that was that was huge that was big these kids have had rough lives and you would see no sign of that just they're so loving and giving and their hugs and their joy just touches your heart sorry <laughs> I think my favorite part of the trip was when we had a whole group of kids and all of the staff together and we were doing a whole worship set together and I remember singing Waymaker in Spanish and I was like, oh, I know this song. A few of the kids were chosen to come up and pray for us in Spanish and so fervently praying for our team and it was just really touching for a lot of us. You know, sometimes with short-term trips, you're like, oh, how much of an impact can we really make, right? We're there. And it was just so moving, you know, just to see the little impact we had through just saying yes and being faithful with a week there, you know? By having such a great first experience, I think it's God's way of showing me that, yes, this is something that you can do. And I think this is the first of many mission trips. I'm starting to learn Spanish, so I know. <laughs> know what next time. What would I say to somebody sitting right now thinking about, hey, I might be called to missions, go for it. You know, say yes to that next step of going on a short-term trip 
and you're gonna get uncomfortable and that's okay, but God will use that in profound ways. And he's done that throughout all of the history of the church is, you know, men and women saying yes to that next step of obedience.